Hello everyone and welcome back to Deciphering Weather. In today's video, Hurricane Barrel made landfall with Texas early this morning. Well, what's going to be coming after it? We'll go over that in this video. If you like detailed weather breakdowns, hit the subscribe button and notification bell to get all of my upcoming videos. So we're looking at the latest satellite image of the Atlantic Basin thanks to tropicaltibits.com for Monday, July 8th, 2024. The black arrows pointing towards Tropical Storm Barrel as it's lost some intensity after making landfall this morning with Texas. And then we have four tropical waves that we're monitoring. One that's crossing Central America, one that just entered the Eastern Caribbean, and one in the main development region with another just coming off the coast of Africa. Here's the spin or vorticity associated with those tropical waves and tropical storms that we're monitoring, as well as an upper level low just to the south and east of the Carolinas, between Carolinas and Bermuda, but we're not expecting that one to develop even into anything subtropical in nature. Here's a close-up view of Tropical Storm Barrel. Uh, it was intensifying rapidly as it was approaching uh, the Texas coastline this morning and took a few hours even to downgrade itself to a tropical storm as it was still intensifying even as it was continuing to cross over land. But it is now down to a tropical storm once more with winds of 60 miles per hour moving north-northeast at 14 miles an hour. And you can see the remnants of the system is going to continue moving through the Mississippi River Valley, Ohio River Valleys, into uh, the southeastern portions of Canada in Ontario, on Ontario. Along the way, it's going to bring a ton of uh, flooding rains to the region. So we have flash flood warnings and watches in effect across the eastern half of the United States. And anywhere in those yellows, you can on the left side of your screen, you can see between four and six inches of rain in eastern uh, Texas and Arkansas as we go over the next couple of days. Here's the key messages from the National Hurricane Center regarding Tropical Storm Barrel. On the left is in English and on the right is in Spanish. You can pause it to take a chance to read it. But basically, the biggest threat right now will be in the form of flooding rain. And uh, while the storm continues to spin down, the occasional tornado as well. So what's going to go on after Barrel? So let's look at the GFS models and see if we have any development for the next week uh, that we have to concern ourselves about in the Atlantic Basin. So the GFS model, 850 millibar level of cyclonic vorticity that's been an energy in the atmosphere, 1,000 feet up from the surface. The black hexagon is Barrel. And then we have three uh, blue hexagons that are tropical waves that we're monitoring right now that are in the Atlantic Basin, with another one trying to come off the coast of Africa. As you can see, um, the Caribbean is hostile right now to tropical development. We have a large amount of wind shear. The main development region is got some lower wind shear, but it's dealing with a lot of dry air, so our tropical waves that we do have are lacking in moisture content. So if we move forward now to two days, to Wednesday, July 10th, we see three tropical waves that we're monitoring throughout the Atlantic Basin. We have the remnants of barrel moving up into Indiana and Ohio at this point. But our tropical waves are either encountering too much wind shear, as you can see in the Caribbean, by our leftmost blue tropical wave, and then a lot of dry air that are going to be sucking away the moisture from the two tropical waves that are coming off rather strong off the coast of Africa but will be uh, weakened substantially by the Saharan air layer. So by the time we get to Saturday, July 13th, you see we have two tropical waves remaining, one very far to the south, just to the north of Suriname and Guyana, and another in the middle of the main development region but nothing looks like it's going to be developing anytime soon. The Bermuda Azores High will be relatively strong, centered around Bermuda, so it's going to force a lot of these waves to the south and then direct them either towards Central America or even into the Pacific Basin at this point. Wind shear values will be low in the main development region, high in the Gulf of Mexico and the Caribbean, but once more you can see those waves 
when they came off the coast of Africa look impressive and then get swallowed up by our Saharan air layer, so they dry out very quickly at that, at that point. Then by the time we get to next Monday, a week from now, on July 15th, we have two tropical waves uh, that are approaching the Caribbean in the Caribbean with another one coming off the coast of Africa near the Cabo Verde Islands. But you can see as we put it into motion on the European model, none of those are going to develop on either model. And if we look at the ensemble runs, you can see it's like crickets out there. Very quiet indeed for the next seven days. We'll have the remnants of barrel that will uh, track throughout the rest of the United States and into Canada, but pretty much that's it. So we're going to be uh, shifting our focus to more long-term range forecasting and going over some of the uh, universities that have come out with their updated forecast for the 2020 hurricane season, 2020-24, sorry. So we'll track Beryl and its remnants and any impacts it's going to bring, and we'll turn our focus to see and when we could see Debbie form in the Atlantic Basin over the next week to the rest remainder of the month. As a reminder, we have super thanks available on Deciphering Weather, so if you'd like to donate to the channel, please go down to the heart button where it says thanks. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, please hit the like button and leave a comment. Please share this video with your family and friends on social media. And if you're new and like detailed weather breakdowns, hit the subscribe button and notification bell to get all of my upcoming videos. Thank you and have a great day.